Hi guys, Kid vs. World here, and this is the second video today. So, pretty much what I've got is some peat moss with some sphagnum mixed in it, and if you can't guess by that, I'm planting a carnivorous plant, which is my Nepenthes ventrata, I think it is. It didn't come with a label, but I think that might be what it is. This is like its label, basically. Doesn't say anything on it. Just how to care for it. Just says pitcher plant, that's it. So, I'm gonna be trying to transplant this. So, I'll start by taking the hanging basket part off. right here. So all you do is oops. My bad. Okay. So you push it down and tip it this way and pull it out. Okay. Now you got this off and you can put that on another pot. Now we're left with the plant. Now, there's some pictures on it. They're very small. And I'm gonna cut this one off for sure. It's brown. This one I'm gonna cut off. Obviously, like, these are, were full grown. I just kept cutting the tops off. But I'm gonna cut them all off. Because it's gonna be almost impossible to plant it with the pictures on. It's gonna be really hard. I'm just gonna take a clean razor blade. I'm gonna slice them all off. So there's the first picture. Dump the liquid out in the sink and then dump all the yucky stuff in the garbage. The second picture. And last but not least, go for the third picture. As you can see, there is stuff in there. Mostly like little fruit flies and stuff. All the pictures are off, so let's start planting it. Now I got this pot at the dollar store and just simply drilled a couple holes in the side here, so no holes in the bottom. Just holes in the side so it can fill with water but won't overflow and puddle. So now let's try to take this out of the pot. Never done this before, so I don't know what to expect. Oh, okay, so there's a lot more roots than I expected, but see a lot in the side. Now I'd imagine they wouldn't like their roots to be disturbed, so I'm just gonna take the top bit of soil and, or um, peat moss or whatever you want to call it, and I'm gonna put all these leaves out. Now I knew I would need more I got some over here. Sorry if my hand's in the way. Just gonna hold up top here. It looks like I might need more peat moss. But 
that's okay. I got some like right beside me. I just have to moisten it. But I have a quick way of doing it, so yeah. So I just usually get some water. And I'm gonna need more, so I will be right back. Okay, so I got some more peat moss moistened up. And I put a bit of sphagnum in there, as you can see. So I'm gonna just continue filling around here. And then you can do a top dressing of sphagnum on top, but I don't have very much so otherwise I would have put more in the soil too if I had like a lot to spare but in case I need to repot something I need it so and you can always use peat moss to repot but some things don't do as well as like other things Getting some more peat moss to hydrate. Just mix it with your hand and squeeze it and eventually it will absorb all the water and it will be moist enough that it will start to collect water when you like water your plant. So don't need to let it sit for like a week or a couple days in order for it to soak up all the water. Like I said in the last video, I'm changing my channel name. So if you have any requests on what I should change it to, just put it in the comments below. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna continue putting this around. So I hope I'm planting this deep enough I think I am. It's probably about the same level as it was in the other pot. But yeah, I'm just gonna continue spreading this around. Basically that's all I'm gonna do on the on camera. And then I might add some sphagnum moss on top or add a bit more peat moss later, but yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna pull up the chain. Alright, I got the chain up, just gonna continue like kind of weaving everything in, making sure it's 
where it should be. Probably gonna have that out of the chain. There. Oh, I wondered why it was so loose. That's better. And I'm gonna hang this in a somewhat sunny spot. So yeah, I don't know why it's not getting any pictures, so if you know, please tell me. It has one small one down here. That's it. So yeah, just let me know what I should be doing. I think it's lack of humidity. It was kind of dry in the winter here. So, yeah. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.